A referendum designed to benefit students, but coming at a cost to taxpayers. I'm Olivia Acri in Shyokton, reporting on the choice facing voters. The Shyokton School District is proposing two referendum questions to voters this February. One, to address operational issues. The funds coming from the state simply have not kept up. This year marks the end of the 2021 operational referendum. Coming back to the voters and asking for three more years of operational support. So that's keeping the lights on, it's curriculum, it's instruction, it's the whole operation of the district. The other question addresses a capital campaign. What are those projects that are going to have the greatest impact on the students learning now and in the future? They settled on five projects, a technical education wing, gymnasium, band and choir wing, child care center wing, and offices with safe and secure entrances. For local business owner Sarah Heineman, the addition of a varsity gym would impact not only the district, but the community as a whole. I think one of the big aspects is the gymnasium that they're looking to add, so that's um, we're able to house conferences, larger things to bring a little more exposure. Heineman says there's a lot to look forward to in the referendum plans, but also a lot to think about. Yes, it is a drawback for tax purposes, but I think as we continue over the years, things like that are needed to expand. Schweitzer forecasts taxes will go up $1.97 for every $1,000 of property value next year. She wants voters to keep one thing in mind. The change for voters is the investment in our school district the investment in the children. Both referendum questions will be on the February 20th ballot. In Chiocton, Olivia Acri, NBC26.